Okay, so the critical reception for the Cloverfield Paradox is a bit mixed, to say the least. Um, okay, so I'm going to be completely honest. My thoughts on the movie right after I first saw it were exactly that. Basically, my first thoughts on right after I saw it. I watched it two or three times now since that first viewing, which is what I gave my first reaction based off of, and re-watching it twice, three times, once with Mason, um, I do have a couple of issues with it, just some kind of flaws in the storytelling, in the logic, in just that some of the stuff does not make sense and it's kind of hard to follow. But my thoughts haven't veered too far away. I still think it's a very good sci-fi movie, and I had a lot of fun with it. This movie, though, <laughs> has been getting a lot more of a negative critical reception than I had thought. And... Look, this, this is the best thing I can say about it, because just because I enjoyed the movie does not make it good. I enjoyed Justice League a lot. A whole lot. And I actually do think it is a legitimately good movie, and I do think critics are being a little too harsh with it, but I completely understand why. Because Man of Steel, as much as I personally love Man of Steel, there are things about it that I do not like, and I completely understand why people don't like it. Same thing with Batman v Superman. I really, really love Batman v Superman. But there are certain things, not as much as Man of Steel, but there are still things about it that I don't like, and I completely understand why there are people that don't like it. Even um, after seeing the three-hour ultimate cut, I... I completely understand. Suicide Squad, I have flaws with it. Completely understand why people don't like it. And I kind of I kind of like it. So, I mean, obviously, I have a lot of fun with movies that other people don't consider to be good. And that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Me, personally, I think... The Cloverfield Paradox introduces an interesting element to the Cloverfield universe, but it doesn't quite execute it as well as it could have. And that is absolutely a product of the fact that the movie was not supposed to be a Cloverfield movie. It was just supposed to be this little sci-fi flick, and they just kind of reworked it into a Cloverfield movie. And they changed some things about it so that they could basically create the logic behind why the monster was in the first movie, then aliens were in the second movie, why there's a particle accelerator in this movie, and why the next one may or may not have zombies. You have to explain it. So, they just kind of hijacked this other script to explain why they're basically just doing a bunch of different sci-fi horror movies in this universe instead of one linear storyline set in the same universe. And I'm all for that. And I really think it is a creative direction to take it. The movie just needed more time. And this is where my main issue comes in. The movie, J.J. Abrams should not have signed on to do episode 9, because he, he was not done working on this movie. And take it from me, you do not want to fill your plate up too much, because then you spend less time on projects that need to be done in this time frame, and then you're focusing on projects that don't quite need to happen yet. And I think he just had too much on his plate to take up working on another Star Wars movie. Because that is now going to take his full attention. 
And when he's trying to build this Cloverfield universe, and he has God Particle, which they were in the process of reworking, and there was a lot of work he was still planning on doing with it, but they just decided to release it as is. And that was the scariest thing for me. When I was turning it on, I was like, it. there is probably going to be an element of disjointedness to the movie because they did not have the time, or they, they really just didn't have the resources and the people to finish doing everything that J.J. wanted to do because he started working on Star Wars. So I knew immediately there was going to be a level of offness to it just because it was not done. Like, it was done, but it wasn't done done. And so I think, I think the main issue I have with this movie is that they did not give it enough time to get finished and J.J. should not have signed on to do episode 9 while he was still working on putting the finishing touches on this movie. And here's what I have to say. Because I was completely fine with the movie. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. I understand why certain people won't like it, don't like it. And that is fine. I have some issues with it. I can see where people would have larger issues with it. I personally only have some minor issues with it, but I can see where the larger issues would stem from. I think... I just hope that um, the same problem doesn't plague Overlord, if that does end up being a Cloverfield movie, and it probably will. It, I, it's never going to actually be confirmed until the movie comes out, probably, but I'm almost 90% sure that Overlord is going to be a Cloverfield movie. I just kind of hope they get they get their crap together with that movie before it comes out. And they've already filmed it, so let's just hope they had their crap together already, you know? Um, otherwise, though, yeah, I don't... I don't think it needs to be... I don't think critics should have been as harsh with it. I completely understand why they were, and I understand a lot of the problems they had. I just kind of skimmed through a few, and I completely understand where most of them are coming from. It's not its not a situation where I'm like, you didn't get it, or um, you're just being nitpicky. I completely understand where they are coming from. It just didn't bother me as much as it bothered a lot of other people, and... There's nothing, there's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta hope that whatever the next movie is, they do something different and do it right so that we don't have the same situation happen again. And I'm perfectly content still enjoying the Cloverfield Paradox. Um, I'm planning on sometime this week just doing like a full marathon of all three movies. And so I'm perfectly content with the movie. I have my little issues with it, but nothing major. And I know there I know a few other people that have seen it and really enjoyed it have a couple of minor nitpicks with it, but overall I'm happy with how the movie turned out. I completely understand where these critics are coming from with some of their complaints, but I I just am not as bothered by them as other people are. And I really hope that they just do better with the next one. Anyways, guys, what do you think about the critical reaction that the Cloverfield Paradox is getting? Do you think that them dropping it on Netflix the night they showed the trailer was a good marketing tactic that's perfectly in line with Cloverfield's traditional marketing campaigns? Or... Do you think it was just a move so that they could avoid getting critically bashed before the movie came out? Because <laughs> that has been floating around a little bit. Anyways, guys, also let me know what you thought of the movie. And what your hopes are for the franchise going forward if you didn't like the movie. And also let me know what you think of my haircut. I got a haircut and I need to comb it. It doesn't look that good when I don't comb it, but yeah, I'm really, 
I'm really happy with without. Oh my gosh! See, just even I couldn't do that before with my old hairdo with the big puffy fro. I couldn't just do that and make it look somewhat presentable. So that's great. I love it. I love this haircut. I'm. I think I'm gonna keep this haircut going forward. Honestly, um, yeah. But let me know what you think of the haircut. Let me know what you think of all the stuff I asked you. I really want to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. Some of my favorite things about making videos and making these videos is just reading the comments and being able to reply to people and have a conversation. So please let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.